Happy New Year family, officially. Welcome back to another video here on your favorite channel. I thought I would share with you <clears throat> my morning today and enjoying the storm that has literally tore up the patio. Look at the uh, heaters leaning over in this clip here. Wasn't expecting snow, didn't even know it was supposed to snow, woke up, and this is what I see. Upon not having any power, also. But, nonetheless, it is absolutely beautiful to see snow here in North Carolina. Um, as long as it's a short stay, as this was. But I thought I would just share the shot with you and how amazingly beautiful it is. And how it just sort of makes you count your blessings, you know. I hope you guys are having a beautiful start to your new year. I'm a little late coming here on our channel after the start of the new year. My apologies for that. It's kind of a lot going on right now. But nonetheless, we are here. I am here. I am here. And yeah, so I just wanted to share this with you because I enjoy sitting by the window watching the beautiful snowfall. Power did come back on fairly quickly. So, we wasn't froze or anything, <laughs> which is a good thing. But it was so beautiful. And I just want to share that with you in case you're somewhere that you don't even get snow. Or maybe you were seeing the exact same thing the day that I was filming this video. I love you, fam. I'm happy to be back with you. And let's jump into today's video. Good morning, family. Welcome back to our official sit down video for the new year. What is today's day? Oh my God, it's the six. So happy official new year. <laughs> happy official new year. I really hope that your new year has gotten off to a great start. Um, yeah. <laughs> I really do. It's been, let's just not even talk about it, okay? Anywho, um, I'm trying to figure out our angles for filming in this room now. Because my desk has moved here, which it's a whole different angle from when it was over here on this side. So we just kind of swapped sides. So... The TV is right behind me. Um, there's no getting away from the sun or making it better lighting. It's just, it's no getting around that. I already know this. Um, now, as I'm filming this video today, I'm waiting for two more pieces of furniture, the couch, and another chair like this one um, before I actually complete that video so you're probably watching this hey how you doing video first and then hopefully today when I get off camera with you the other two pieces will come I can do the reveal video and we can just get back to our regular chit chats honey for 2022 like can we just get back to that okay so um what have you been up to great things I hope all great things um, for me, what I said today is the 6th, it's been a little rocky. A little rocky in the sense that, um, <sighs> just a little rocky, okay? It really is not anything that I need to bring you, like, up to date on, right? So, since I've only put the one video up, so far, which was my fish tank chronicle video, which, listen, let me tell y'all something. In case you didn't know it from that video, we, we all in. We are all into it here with the fish tank. Um, so much so, <laughs> that's all I've been doing to just is sitting in front of that tank. And just enjoy my little fishies swimming around the tank, 
create narratives for them because they do have personalities. Some of them have personalities. They have names. Okay. It's just been a whole thing. Okay. But with that being said, I have been thinking about what types of videos that I can bring you for 2022. That's a little bit different or in addition to our chit chat videos and all the same stuff we've always done, but just add a little bit of spice to the channel for your enjoyment. Um, so I've been thinking about that. You let me know down in the comments below what types of videos would you like to see? And then I will see if that's doable or not. Okay. Um, and we'll see what we can do. I do know that I'm going to make sure. Okay. Wait a minute. You know what? Sharon. Sharon. What, what is today, y'all? Okay. Today is Thursday. <laughs> today is typically the day that I go live. Okay. Um, but I don't know. Even while I'm filming this video, if I'm even going to be able to go live tonight, it's, it's, I'm going to try um, because I don't want to miss another Thursday. During the holidays, it was kind of up and down with the being able to come on here and do lives. But I do want to start the year all right and get back to our Thursday lives. However, I don't know because I'm actually rushing, not really rushing, but I am a little bit rushing to sit here and even chat with you right now because of kind of what's going on behind the scenes, okay? So, I, I don't want to be on here too long even chatting. Right now. Right now, anyway. That being said, again, I do hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend. Uh, I mean, to your weekend, uh, Sharon. To your new year, Okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. Here, if you've set goals or what, what is the other one that they call it? Goals, uh, resolutions, stuff like that. If you've set any of that stuff, do not beat yourself up if you can't see it through. Which is probably why I don't ever do it because I just don't want to face myself when it goes downhill. My intentions be good, but then it go downhill, and then I, no, and I'm way too hard on myself. So if you have goals, aspirations, as you should, just don't be too hard on yourself. If you know you get a little sidetracked, you can't see them through, cause life happens. You know what I mean? Life happens, and you just got to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep it pushing. Okay. Just, just set things that are very big things. Don't, don't get me wrong. Set big things, but also set things that are very obtainable, very within your reach. Even if that means you have to get a little dirty, or you have to work a little harder, or you have to make some sacrifices, or you live in life. You know what I mean? Just make sure. That whatever that is, it's very obtainable for you. Because you can do it. I, I assure you, okay? Anything you set your mind to, create you a blueprint to, you can do it. And how will you ever know if you can or can't if you don't at least try? Right? You just, you gotta give it a try. Be it you fail at it miserably or you succeed amazingly. You will never know unless you walk right out there and do it. Okay, so that being said, you guys, um, I'll, I'll take you out here and show you the fish tank. I mean, that's the least I can do <laughs> because we have gotten the water so clear, okay, with our fish tank. Let me tell y'all something. I have researched, in addition to Ron, I have researched my own preferred fish. I figured it out what my preferred fish is. So I have literally been learning everything I can about this fish, right? Um, and again, it's been trial and error with getting the tank going and getting the cycle process started. So much stuff that I just don't recall my mama doing back in the day. <laughs> 
to maintain the fish tank I grew up with. Even the fish tank that she has to this day full of goldfish, right? One of the dirtiest fish, you know, as far as tank maintenance. But her tank is equally as crystal clear. And I just don't recall all of what's go have gone into this tank being done. Like, I really don't. Which is funny to me. Anywho, um, the tank is crystal clear because now having put the fish in it to start their own little ecosystem in the tank. Oh, we went through this cloudy phase. We went through... Some little fishies dying. Um, the whole night, you know, we trial and error. We've lost another seven fish um, since the eleven I told you we lost in the beginning. However, these are from Pet Smart as well. Okay, I'm not saying, but I'm just saying these seven fish were from a different Pet Smart in a whole other city, right? And we had the power outage for a few hours with the storm that I put at the beginning of this video. And so they didn't have power for like a, a couple hours because Ron actually had a, a backup thing. He hooked to the tank so that they could still, you know, get the bubbles and the oxygen and all that jazz, whatever. But we left and came back home and there were like three or four dead and then a couple more dropped off from that same batch, though, from that PetSmart. Dropped off, right? So, we haven't replaced the seven that we just recently lost during the, the snow the other day. So, but we probably, we definitely will. Not probably, we definitely will. But now, especially now that the, the tank system is doing what it's supposed to do, Okay. Um, so I can take you out here and show you the fishies. And again, my deliveries is supposed to be coming today. Um, I have two things. The desk has come. The one chair has come. And then I'm waiting on another chair and then the couch. And then we can get that video out and I can swap the angle of the camera. So that we can see some of what's over that way that you can't see. So hopefully that will happen today. And again, like I said, I don't know if I'm even going to be able to go live tonight. I will definitely try so that we can get back on track with our lives and just moving forward. But don't forget, leave me a comment down below and let me know what types of videos you want to see here on this channel. I'll see what production can do. <laughs> I'll check what production and see what we can make happen for you. But in the meantime, let me take you out here and show you the little fishy roots. Okay, here we are. Look how clear this water is, honey. And it did that literally on its own from having the fishies in here, allowing the filter to do what it do. Um, I have some betas which is my preferred fish, down here sleep. Look how they sleep at the bottom. And I'd be thinking they're dead, but they are asleep. So I have a sorority of female betas in here with one male beta who I've monitored since I put them in here together. And look at that one. She has claimed that treasure chest as her home. They're probably under there, definitely up into the castle. Um, but yeah, I've monitored their behavior, his behavior with the females um, to see if he showed any signs of aggression and nothing, nothing so far so good. And it's been a few days with that going on. And he has chosen two of the betas that I think are his girlfriends. Hers, she's one. She's one, and then I have a glowfish beta in here that glows, and she's probably in the castle with him, because that's typically where he hangs out, is in this castle, honey. It's a whole soap opera going on in this tank. You just don't even know. You don't even know, sis. That's a couple, right? No, that, they're not the couple. She does have a boyfriend, and he's down there. Hood boy. That's hood boy. Hood boy. 
That one right here is a cat daddy. That one. The angelfish are Sharon and Ron. So that's Sharon. And the one over there is Ron. And then the beta, male beta, his name is Ant. This girl, or she's moved now, or right here. That's his girlfriend, Sasha Fierce. And then the Glow one that's probably in there with him. Her name is Glow. <laughs> Simple. Well, and she is sleeping. That's how they sleep. Down here on the bed of the, the aquarium. And they just swim in a school. These little jokers. I forget the name of them. Swim in a school. I thought I was going to have to remove him out of the tank. He had a, a fish with him and he died. But he was getting a little bit rowdy in the tank. Get a little bit rowdy with the females. But then we changed the food from, we, we do this one too. We actually feed this one because some will eat this, right? And then some will only eat this. And when we added a new food in the tank, it helped to calm him down, literally, because he was literally about to get evicted. He was doing too much. But look how clear this tank water is. Let me stand back so you can see. Look how clear that is. Girl. And of course, this was through trial and error. Through the cycling process and the letting the fish do what they do in the tank. Um, I do plan on getting some more female betas because they definitely um, can coexist together. I just have to make sure that, like I did with this sorority of seven females, which have all survived, um, getting them together and getting them around the same size, right? That's the key to kind of keeping a successful sorority beta, I mean beta sorority. So that's my plan. I'm going to get probably seven more of those beautiful fish to put in this tank because upon my research, they can work in this tank as well. But yeah, this is everything that's going on in my life right now. Okay. So that will be, so that's all I have for you today. My sisters, brothers, nieces, and nephews for today's video. Not a whole lot of nothing, girl. Not a whole lot of nothing going on still. And that's the beautiful thing to me. As of right now, I will get back to you in another video. Hopefully it'll be this room video, very simple, to the point, done, okay? So we can f finish and have our, so we can have our mini chats here in this space, okay? Yeah, I'm excited. I love you guys. I missed you. And um, I'm going to see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.